Hello all you magical folk, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Merry Christmas. I am so excited about the holidays, you guys. I know they haven't quite gone as probably planned this year because of everything that's been going on in the world, but I really, really hope that you're having as magical a Christmas as you possibly, possibly can. I am very, very excited today because I have a magical unboxing for you. The last one of probably this year, unless my Geek Gear box arrives quicker than expected. So maybe that will be the last one, but if not, this will be the last one. This will certainly be the one, the, yeah, the last one before Christmas, but maybe not till the end of the year. Maybe the Geek Gear one will come in time for the New Year's. We'll see. Anyway, today's unboxing. We have Cauldron Crate's Deathly Chest. Ah, I'm so excited. This is the last one of their year series. I just can't even tell you what, how excited I am about this box. This, of course, is the deluxe box as well. I decided to um, go for the deluxe box like I did last time round because I can't be missing out on any magical goodies. Let's be fair. If I saw another unboxing where the magical goodies come and I'm like, hmm, I didn't get that part, I'd have me gutted. So, yeah, I had to buy the deluxe box. So, if you are very intrigued to see what is inside, then do carry on watching. Don't forget, if you are new and you haven't done already, then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. Don't forget to turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can always go and check me out on my social media. Big shout out as well to my patrons. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. If you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link will be in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Literally, this box is just so magical, so brilliant. Every single time I unbox one of these, it's always so special and I'm just so excited. So as always, I will give you guys a sneak preview. If I don't poke myself in the face. Okay, so we have the spoiler card on top, I believe. So I'm just gonna, not even looking at it. I'm just gonna pop it to one side and then I will give you guys another look to see. So we have a blue tissue paper because of course I am a Ravenclaw and we'll move it out the way. Ooh, we have a t-shirt on top. I'm very intrigued. Let's pop the box down a moment. So let's see what we have in the t-shirt. is lots of wiggly like straws. We don't have like wiggly worms today. We have like spaghetti. This is lovely. <laughs> Oh, we've got lots of spaghetti still attached to the t-shirt, but let's have a look at the t-shirt. Is it good? I can't see. What is it? Oh, now I like that. Wow, that is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm assuming you would get a different one depending on your house because obviously Ravenclaw, I have a beautiful little eagle on the Deathly Hallow symbol. I absolutely love that t-shirt. I love the more simple designs. I love like the little pocket designs. I love them so much. Yeah, that is already 10 out of 10 for me. I love that. It's gorgeous. He looks like a little happy eagle as well. Just sometimes you see eagles, they look a bit like sinister. He does not look like a sinister eagle. He looks like a curious eagle. He looks very, very sweet. I like that. That's so cool. Very pleased with the t-shirt. Okay, so you still can't see much. This box has no spoilers. <laughs> you can't see anything. Look, so many spaghettis. Okay, so I'm seeing something round. I'm very intrigued by you. So what is this? We have a round item. It says, ooh, it says, I open at the close. Our zingy, uplifting, citrus-filled golden bath bomb contains secret hidden surprises within and is our ode to Albus Dumbledore and that enchanted snitch. Caution, not edible. Don't eat this. You will not be pleased. <laughs> and I'm assuming these are like the little snitch wings, which is a really, really cute little touch. And obviously then we have this lovely organza bag. Let's open you on up and see if I can show you exactly what is inside. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Okay, ooh, this is cool. I don't know if this is intentional. A pop, mm, I don't know, it might be. There are some like little bits in the bottom of the bag that's kind of like broken off, but that's okay. It is a bath bomb the end of These things are a little bit on the fragile side. It does look like it's split. I don't know if it's because you could maybe use half of it in one bath and another half in another. I don't know, maybe. It does look like there's something inside there. I don't know what it is and I don't want to like open it on up. Oops, a daisy. Because I want to use it in my bath. So yeah, that's cool. I don't know if it is intentionally like in half, but even if it's not, 
that's understandable these things come a long way owls aren't always the most careful with these packages as we would like them to be so yeah that's not a problem at all i can just use half in one bath and half into another so yeah let's see what else we have so i'm seeing something in bubble wrap what are you let's have a looky okay Ooh. oh the spaghetti got everywhere okay we have what looks maybe like a bottle of some kind. Are you a potion bottle? Let's have an Ozzy. Oh, wow. That is stunning. Look, can you see that, guys? I, I don't think the camera's picking it up all that well. It looks literally like, do you know how they describe the uh, memories in the pensive in the books? And they say like, it looks like neither liquid nor gas and it's like swirly. That is exactly what this looks like. It doesn't look like, I mean, it obviously is liquid because you can see it's liquid, it's sloshing around. But the actual swirliness of what's going on inside literally looks like the description of the pensive, like the memories. That is stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And we have this lovely little charm on the front as well. If you can pick that up. We have some silvery grey twine going up the neck of the bottle with some beads on the little charm as well. We have some drippy wax seal on here as well. I love it when it drips down. It looks really authentic. And then we have an S, which I'm assuming is for Slughorn. That is absolutely stunning. Like, that is beautiful. That is so, so pretty. That's going to look amazing on my potion shelf. My potion shelf, you guys, I haven't shown you guys just yet because it's not, well, my whole shelves as a collective, they're up, they're just not finished yet. And my potion shelf is like the only shelf that is actually completed, done, dusted, and it's crammed. Like, I have so many potions <laughs> on my potion shelf. But this one, I'm in awe. This is stunning. I can't wait to add that to my potion shelf. We have something larger in bubble wrap. Do I just go for it and open it on up or do I save it? I might save it because this looks cool. I haven't seen exactly what it is. I don't want to look at it too much. I'm going to save you. Um, oh, I'm seeing Root Yeskita. Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, this is cool. I like this. Let me get all the spaghetti off. Uh, okay, so we have a Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. And on the back, we have the lovely lady herself. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, what does it say? Another spellbinding triumph from the Queen of the Quill. Ew. This is a book cover. Look how cool that is. So you got like a little uh, button and a little bit of um, elasticated stuff. <laughs> and then inside, you can pop your book in there. So you've got like the, either side for the sleeves of the book. Watch my hair. And then, yeah, it looks like you're reading The Life and Lives of Albus Dumbledore. I love that. It's even got like, the spine bit as well. That is really cool. I like that. It feels really squishy as well. Like that's really, really lovely. I like that so very much. Ooh, this box is amazing. It always is. I, I always have really high standards for this box and every time it like just completely and utterly smashes through my expectations. Okay, so this time around we have a little velvet bag. What do we have inside of you? Oh, why can't I open you? My eyes are going a bit <laughs> funny. Okay, what's inside of this little bag? What are you? Oh, we have a coin. Oh, we have a really cool coin. What are you? Okay, let's get this out. Oh, this is a DA coin. Oh, now that's cool. I love that. So it's a one galleon coin, DA coin. So we have the her hand with the wand. It says DA right there. And it has a number on it as well. Because if I remember rightly, they were dates yeah this is the 5th of uh, february 1998 because i remember they have like dates of all the different um all the different da meetings on the coins so obviously every time that harry wants them to all meet up in the room of requirement he changes the date on his coin which then changes all the other coins as well so i love that and on the back we have a, a beautiful dragon this is so cool and it says for fortis quo i can't say that word I'm a bit, I can't pronounce like words sometimes. I'm very not good at speaking English. <laughs> I say that in the most non-English way of saying that in the world. I'm Welsh, so, you know. <laughs> so yeah, we have this absolutely gorgeous dragon on the back. This is a super shiny coin. This is really, really shiny. I love it. It's gorgeous. Wow. And it's huge as well. It's a really, really big, chunky coin. I love that. That is gorgeous. So far, this box is just, oh, it's amazing. 
Oh my gosh, we've got a pin, you guys. This pin is amazing. <laughs> Deep breaths, Kaylee. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. I haven't even shown you guys. I'm just like, going, oh, <laughs> I haven't shown you. Look at that. How beautiful. So we've got the sword of Gryffindor going through the middle there. We've got wings of what I can only assume is the phoenix. And then we have some fire on the uh, crest itself there as well. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my God. I love that. I'm like really, really into my pins lately as well. So that is just stunning. Oh, I can't wait to add that to my pin board. What are you? Oh, you're floppy. Okay. <laughs> we have a very flippy floppy parcel here, which says cauldron crate on here. We have like this lovely purple tissue paper. What is inside you? Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, hello. Ooh, what is this? This is pretty. It feels really so like silky and smooth. Okay, I think this is a scarf. Are we a scarf? This is really, really beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Can you see that? We have like celestial looking stars on here. We have some like swirlies for like galaxies. You've got some bigger stars, smaller stars. You've got some constellations. That's beautiful. I really love that. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is absolutely stunning i love it so much this is not something that's like crazy in your face like harry potter but obviously if you like think about the astrology tower and things like that it kind of fits in with that so yeah this is really beautiful as well oh my god i love this box so much it's gonna pop you down by there okay um what else do we have oh okay i'm see. oh hello i know a minute we have a few things okay i think we have some cards so we have a um I was going to say snow globe, but I suppose it could just be like a standard like divination globe. And inside the globe, we have Hogwarts Castle. Let me take it out of the packet because the glare isn't great. One second. These are really pretty though. Yeah, they are cards. So yeah, we have Hogwarts Castle inside of a globe. We have a Gilderoy Lockhart one. This is really cool. Uh, it says, Merry Christmas, love always, Gilderoy. I love that. That's really cool. And then we have, oh, I love this. So we have some um, Weasley sweaters. And then we have all the letters of all the Weasleys on here. So we've got A for Arthur, M for Molly, B for Bill, C for Charlie, P for Percy, F for Fred, G for George, R for Ron, G for Ginny. I love that one as well. That is so, so cute. I love it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this box is like never ending. Okay, we have a piece of parchment. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I was oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. Okay. Oh, let's straighten you out a little bit so we can show everyone. We have the last will and testament of Alvis Percival Wolfick Brian Dumbledore. Oh my god, this is so cool. So this looks amazing, like exactly how you see it in the film as well. We've got all the different pages on here. Oh my God, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh my gosh, I'm like being really gentle with this thing because I don't want to break it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. That is so beautiful. That looks so authentic. It's just beyond unreal. That's absolutely gorgeous. It obviously lists exactly what he left to Ron, Hermione and then Harry. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Oh, it's signed as well by Minerva McGonagall as executor. I love that. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to have like a proper read through of this a little bit later on. Oh my God, I love it so much. Okay, what have we seen? Oh, we got some stickers. Now we always get stickers in these boxes. And I always say the same thing. I mean, I unbox one of these boxes that I never really know what to do with stickers. But I do keep them in case like I ever happen across something that I want to stick the stickers to, which probably makes no sense. But I, I am, I do, I really enjoy the stickers. So let me get them out of the packet and I will show you what we have. So we have this lovely Deathly Hallows with Death himself in the background of the Hallows. Then we have our uh, Dobby. We will always remember you. Here lies Dobby, a free elf. Oh, that's sad. Oh, don't make me cry. Oh, this is a pretty one. So we have a Deathly Hallows with a, uh, I was going to say Lily Patronus, but there's Lilies on here and the Patronus, obviously Lily and Snape share. So that's a really pretty one. I do like that. 
Oh, then we have a diadem. Oh, <laughs> obviously, I love me the diadem. And then we have, ooh, what is this? I think, I think this is a combination of all the Horcruxes. I think, if you look at it, we've got the, the Riddle's Diary here. Then we've got the Bolts of Harry. Then we've got the Hufflepuff Cup, the Diadem, the Snake Head. Oh, and the Locket right there as well. So yeah, that's got to be... That's got to be all the Horcruxes, like, collectively, which is a really cool idea, actually. That is actually a really, really cool thing. That is really pretty. I like that. We have a standard uh, Deathly Hallows. We have a Doe with Always written inside. We have Professor Snape. Uh, we have, oh, this is a nice one. We have Always with the Deathly Hallows as the A. Oh, and then we have a very creepy Voldemort and Nagini sticker as well. So yeah, love those. They're really, really cool. I do, like I said, I do really enjoy the stickers. I just never know what to do with them. So I just kind of hang on to them, which is fine. We can do that. What are you? Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making all sorts of like weird noises today. I don't know what's going on with me. This is beautiful. I really like this. Look at that, you guys. We have this gorgeous Deathly Hallows uh, necklace with a little flowery looking charm here as well. That's beautiful. The kind of, the necklace kind of goes through this charm. So I suppose you could move it up and down if you chose to, I don't know, but it does kind of go through the chain of the necklace. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. If I get it to sit flat, sit flat. There we go. How pretty is that? Oh, that's really lovely. I like that. There are still things in the box, you guys. We have a patch. Are you a patch? You are a patch. I like this. This is obviously the same as the t-shirt. We have it in a patch form, which is really cool. I really, really like that. I do love the eagle on here as well. He looks really cool. I like the eagle. So yeah, you can always like put that on like the back pocket of your jeans and then have like your matching t-shirt and jeans. Because yeah, that's what I would do with it. <laughs> but yeah, I really like that as well. It's a really nice patch, really good quality. I think you are the last item, I believe. Apart from the big thing in bubble wrap, which I will not forget like I did last time. Um, So it says Muggleborn Registration Commission. Oh my gosh. It does say my name on here. I am Muggleborn, so I can't really be too shocked about this statement, but we have a Muggleborn Registration Commission Order Number 725. Uh, then it says my name on here, my reference, and it says blood status Muggleborn. It's true, I can't help that. I am Muggleborn. You know, my parents are not all that into Harry Potter, unfortunately. They like it enough, but they're not really into it. So sadly, that makes me Muggleborn. And yeah, this is really, really cool though. This looks again, really authentic. Like you would find sadly in Dolores Umbridge's office. But yeah, that's really, really cool. And you can obviously add all your details in here as well. There's lots of spaces for you to fit in all like your marital status, any children, uh, your place of birth. Oh, it has things like for your eye color, hair color, weight, complexion. <laughs> uh, yeah, all sorts of different things on here. This is really cool as well. I do like that. I probably won't fill it in. I'll probably just have it like on my shelf somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool as well. So yeah, I've just got now the last thing which is here to open on up. I actually don't even know what this is. I don't know. It looks green. That's all I can say about this so far. What are you? Oh, oh wow. Okay, okay. We're not green. The bubble wrap is slightly green tinged, but the item inside is definitely not. Let me just be very careful with you. There we go. Wow. This is Gertie Root Infusion Potion Bottle. This is gorgeous. Like, wow. Like, I was impressed with this one. I'm equally, if not more so impressed with this one. This is amazing. So inside, you can just see we've got some, like, purple liquid in there. Is it actually liquid? Yeah, no, it is liquid. It is definitely liquid. And then inside, you can just see the Gertie Root within... <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I love that. It says brewed by Xenophilius Lovegood. That is gorgeous. Look at that. I love the colour of it. I haven't got anything this colour on my potion shelf at the moment. So that is going to really, really stand out. And then again, we've got some twine around the neck and we have a G, I'm assuming for Gurdy Root wax seal. That is gorgeous. I'm going to have such a happy potion shelf. This is beautiful. I can't even cope. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the cheat sheet just to make sure we've got everything that we were supposed to and to sort of clarify one or two things to make sure I know what everything is. So we have 
uh, which says, I hope you have enjoyed unboxing the seventh and final installment of my book series of chests. Don't forget to tag me in your unboxing photos. I will definitely be doing that. That's absolutely blown me away. This box is amazing. So what we have in here, oh, everything are, oh, oh sorry, everything are always, see, I told you English doesn't work. So it says, my products are always vegan and cruelty free, which is an amazing, amazing thing. Obviously, everyone's been a little bit more conscious these days about what they're sort of buying and how things are like treating the environment and animals and things like that. So this is all cruelty free and vegan friendly. Amazing. Um, so in here we had the Xenophilius Love Good necklace replica. Uh, that was actually handmade by Cauldron Crate as well. So that's absolutely gorgeous. We have the Dumbledore's Will replica. Uh, that was designed by Wizard Among Us and then made by Cauldron Crate. Then we have the Book 7 sticker set, the personalised Muggleborn registration certificate. Uh, we have the Snape's memory. Of course, Snape. S for Snape. I'm having a moment of, like, complete stupidity. Slughorn. Snape. S for Snape. Snape's memory bottle, handmade by Cauldron Crate. That's stunning, you guys. I can't even cope. Then we've got the Golden Snitch bath bomb. Uh, then we have the Resurrection Stone. Did I get that? Did I miss that? This is why it's always good to go through these cheat sheets. Did I miss you? Are you in here? Am I being daft? Did I get it and I'm just not remembering? <laughs> There's me searching around for it like an absolute loony. And I just read the caption. If you're wondering where this item is, can you remember where Harry found the stone? It's in the bath bomb. <laughs> That's genius. I love it. That's so funny. I was literally looking through the box going, I I, I, like, I haven't found it. Where is it? Have, have I got it? Have I missed it? Oh my gosh, what's going on? It's in the bath bomb, you guys. That's so funny. I See, I told you as well, wasn't I? I said I could see something in there, but I didn't know what it was. Right, well, I'm going to have a bath tomorrow and I'm going to find my resurrection stone. <laughs> Then we have the Gryffindor Sword Pin, absolutely stunning. That's designed by Azura Arts, absolutely gorgeous. And it is a Cauldron Crate exclusive as well. Then we have the Invisibility Cloak Scarf, oh, of course. I absolutely love this idea, it's so pretty. It actually kind of looks like an Invisibility Cloak, I love it. Then we have the House Hallows Iron Arm Patch, absolutely gorgeous as well. Oh, that was made by uh, Shayna Creates. So well done, Shayna, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. And then on the back, it says the Elder Wand. I don't think I got that. Again, am I being completely insane have I got that and I'm again just misplacing it is that in the bathroom too um I don't think I got that it says I'm so excited to include the final hallow the death stick the wand of destiny the elder wand I'm so thankful for wandcraft designs for stepping in and helping me out with a previous vendor fell through on this item the result is this gorgeous replica and I am pleased to say and I'm so pleased that I finally get to share it with you all I don't think I got that I don't know. I will message Leanne. She's absolutely lovely. So, so nice. Really, really lovely girl. So I will double check with her if I am being completely insane or if I am missing that item. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure it'll be sorted out. No problems. Um, and then it says the premium items. So the items that you would have got, everything I've written out so far are items that you would have got if you bought the standard box. And then if you bought the premium box like myself, you will get the next few items. So the Goody Root Infusion. So this potion bottle here is the premium item. Um, then we've got the House Hallows t-shirt, again designed by Shana Create. Absolutely stunning. I love that. The 24 karat gold DA coin. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so shiny as well. Beautiful. And then we have the Life and Lies book sleeve by Rita Skeeter. This is a really, really gorgeous item as well. Absolutely love that. Yeah, that is everything that we had in the Deathly Hallows chest. Wow, what can I say about this box? Wow, it is absolutely amazing. I'm so, so impressed. Even if I am missing um, that Elder Wand, like I said, I'm sure it'll be sorted out. If I am, I don't know if I'm being completely insane because, I mean, obviously I didn't know where the Resurrection Stone was. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm like maybe missing something. I don't know. But if I am missing something, I'm sure Leanne will sort it. No problems at all. Like I said, she's so lovely. 
easy to talk to so yeah that'll be sorted out not a problem but yeah what else can i say about the actual contents of this box <sighs> wow i'm just i'm in awe i really am every single time i unbox one of these boxes i'm in absolute awe of them they're absolutely amazing they go above and beyond the expectations for me personally anyway i don't know about anybody else but these boxes just go way above and beyond the expectations for me and yeah i'm just so so impressed you definitely get your money's worth everything is so well thought out and so well planned i'm just i'm shook i really am um let's talk about maybe my least favorite items and my most favorite items can we even do that for worst favorite not really i don't think i think if i had had to choose a worst item it would probably be the muggle registration form because just like the, the thought process behind what this would have meant in the real wizarding world this would have probably been a really scary thing so maybe for that reason alone this is my my least favorite item if you can even call it that favorite items oh my gosh how can i even choose i mean the two potion bottles are just beyond gorgeous i mean look at these things stunning um the Dumbledore's will is really gorgeous as well this is absolutely stunning the coin from the DA coin the pin as well even the book sleeve as well I mean that is gorgeous as well the bath bomb is a really funny idea especially the fact that the resurrection stone is inside of that thing I really love the necklace as well actually the necklace is really really beautiful the stickers the patch the t-shirt I can't do it I can't pick a favorite there are too many variables oh and of course the scarf this actually I'm, I'm gonna go with this this is my favourite because it really does look like the invisibility cloak. It's got that kind of shivery magicalness to it as well as the actual print itself. It doesn't scream Harry Potter. So if you want it to be a little bit more subtle while wearing this, you can be. It doesn't actually like look all that Harry Potter-esque. But obviously if you know, you know. So yeah, this is probably my favourite item and I can't wait to wear this and show it off. It's so pretty and it's so soft. So yeah, I'm I'm just blown away. I can't say enough about this box blown away absolutely adore it and so so excited about everything in here i can't wait to get it all on my shelves so what did you guys think of the deathly chest did you get this box yourself did you miss out on it are you gutted are you okay about the fact that you missed out on it i personally don't see how anyone can be okay with the fact that they missed out on this box it is amazing but i'm very sorry if you did miss out on it because it's absolutely amazing i'm so so impressed with it but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what did you think of the deathly chest and if you did enjoy this video guys please give it a magical thumbs up for me so that i know don't forget as well if you haven't done already to hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn on the notification bells as well to be notified every time i upload a video and i will see you very soon in the next one merry christmas you guys bye